هذه مريضه يا اخي الكريم هذه هذه حمقى هذه ودي ودي سين ودي توكنا بايا الكريش العرب انتم يا اخوي راه في حيوانات يا اخي والله تكلم مع الشجر ما تكلم مع الحجر كهبه شاف دوكور ها؟ اولا سي العرب ايو كرش العرب؟ انت يا نصراني تكلم عربي؟ تكلم عربي والله كيف قرات القران؟ لا لانك لو قرات القران ان شاء الله تصبحي مسلمه لماذا؟ لان ما في شخص تكلم بطريقه القران في التاريخ اسالك انت هل سمعتي شخص يتكلم هكذا؟ نون والقلم وما يسطرون ما انت بنعمه ربك بمجنون وان لك لاجرا غير ممنون ما في انسى تكلم هكا او كاف ها كاف ها يا عين صاد ذكر رحمه ربك عبده زكريا اذ نادى ربه نداء خفيا ما في انسان الحمد لله رب العالمين نحن عرب نتكلم عرب اوكي اي سبيك انجلش نو بوي سو اي سي انت يو دونت سبيك عربي نوت يو عربي اوكي هذه عربيه فصحى انت يا كيش ما عربي هذه انا انا اتكلم بافصح لغه طريقه القران Anyway, I said to you, do you know any person in the history, food out the history, speaks the way I was reciting? When you look to the Quranic style, no one in the history spoke like that. Even Prophet Muhammad, when he go to his Sunnah, alayhi salatu wasalam, he speaks completely different the way is the Quran. One of the ijaz of Quran, the miracle of the Quran, is the style of the Quran. You understand? So if Muhammad was just a normal guy, how come he came with this perfect stylish of the quran so eloquent when we had many poets from the christian poets from the jewish poets the arab poets christian and jewish yeah but they never spoke the way prophet muhammad came with the quran why are you asking <laughs> no i'm asking myself of course i'm asking you so is your point that it's written in such a style that you think because it's quite unique in the way the wording is put that no the person that must have done that must be so special yeah and he challenged people to bring something like it he challenged the quran challenge you know you know a kadab a liar he knows he's a liar he knows uh, like for example uh, what they call it uh, if i make up something and i claim god is with me i know i'm lying i will not challenge the people because I know I'll be exposed. But Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, he, he's not just came with the Quran, he challenged people to bring something like it. And you know what's funny? There's a guy, he's a, he's a Christian in Egypt, he tried to accept the challenge. He was making mistakes in a grammar, even a child in Ibtidai, primary school, will not make it. So uh, Prophet Muhammad came with the Quran, he challenged everyone. He challenged the Arab pagans who were very eloquent, and they couldn't. Well, remember the Arab pagans, they were looking for anything to, to invalidate his prophethood. To invalidate what? His prophethood. So what they did, in, instead of accepting the challenge, what they did, they waged the war against him. But they were able to accept the challenge and to expose him that what he came with is a lie. It's not from God. So why they did not, they did not accept the challenge and they had to choose the war instead of accepting the challenge? Why? Even the Christian Arabs, why they did that? I feel like the original point is still that you think purely based on the quality of the writing that that means something, but I'm not sure how much strength there is in saying that because I don't know how eloquently the ability of somebody to write can speak about who they are or who sent them or how valuable what they have to say is. Is that the whole point? No, no, that's, the, that's um, part of the point. Okay. Yeah. And the rest of it? Is There's more to it. For example, we have the miracle of the Quran. That Allah mentioned the Quran 1,400 years ago. Allah preserved the Quran. Inna nuhna zinna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. Now, if the Jewish and the Christians and the, and, the, and, the, and the Muslims, all of them decide to burn their scriptures, the only scripture will remain with us, which one? In the people's hearts. Which one? Do you have a question for us? How many times I ask question? No, 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 I keep asking the question. I mean, yeah, yeah. I said to you, if that's my question to you, yeah, okay? I asked tw tw twice, but you, I don't know if you're doing it. I, 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 it's two questions I've asked. Firstly, do you know anyone in the history spoke with the stylish of the Quran? 
يكون من دون سبيك الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن في دون سبيك هذا في دون هيستوري نو نو از نوت از نوت اف از سوبجيكتيف هي تشالنج بيبول تو بينغ سافيك لايك ات ايفن ذا عربز هو اليكونت ان ذا سبيتش ذي نو ذي از نوت هيومن سبيتش There is no human start with speech with Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. And if you're subjective, so you can be right or wrong, then why the Arabs, you Christian Arabs, they are accepting the challenge? Why they can say, no, what? It's subjective anyway. Because they know it's eloquent. And Allah exposed the Christian Arabs, they are very weak in Arabic language. I don't Go see on. how eloquent, being eloquent, like results a relationship with God. No, no, before resolve. Firstly, yeah. eloquency, human, they are eloquent, all right? Yeah. So if I come to a people that were known to be eloquent in their speech, then I bring something and I said to them, look, this is one of the miracle that the eloquency of my speech, you cannot bring something like it. Or bit, you cannot replicate it, bring something like it or better than it. What has that got to do with the relationship with God? Okay, um, just before, you know, okay, uh, uh, your relationship with God, yeah? You want to have a relationship with God? The one that had, have the best relationship with God is the Muslims. Okay. We don't have to pray to Prophet Muhammad, we pray to Allah directly. Rather in the Quran, Allah said, said in the Quran, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبَ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ If my servant asks about me, I'm near. If you notice in the Quran, if you do read it, in the Quran, every time the people ask Prophet Muhammad something, Allah will say, Oh Muhammad, say. Yes? يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ السَّعَةِ قُلْ They ask about the hour. Say. يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْأَنْفَلْ قُلْ But when it comes to worship, Allah never said, say. So they ask you, I'm near. Meaning, Allah doesn't want to put no one between him and his servant in worship. Direct contact. Okay. Yeah. Which uh, you have to pray to Jesus to get to God, correct? Yeah, we can pray to Jesus. Huh? I, I, I know you can, but you pray to Jesus as well. They are one, so huh? indiscriminate. God and Jesus are one. Okay, so when 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 uh, the Romans were beating up God, Jesus was that God getting beat up? Yes. Uh, yeah, because they are one. So God was be was God was getting beat up, yeah. Do you understand? Do you in, uh, no, no. Before, before I left you, just for step by step, because we want to use our sound reasoning, and that, that what distinguishes Islam from any religion, Islam goes in line with the sound reasoning. Sure. My question to you, she said both of them. I'm not sure you're gonna agree with them. They are one. Yes, the Father. And my question: So when the Romans were beating up Jesus, that was God getting beat up. Yes. So you. Billah min dalik. تعالى الله علوا كبيرا عما يقول الظالمون. Okay, wait. You said to me about the Quran. Firstly, the Quran there is a paper, and the Quran is speech of Allah. So that book, there is the word of Allah, but the word of Allah is not the paper and the ink. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Exactly. You have to let me finish. Yeah, no, no, you have to let me finish. Was attached. finish okay. Let me finish. That human body A died, was crucified, and then came again after being. Okay, so. Any divine thing he did was because of the divine nature attached to the flesh of that man. Which part of God was divine? Which part of Jesus was divine? Is it blood or his soul? He was a full man, and God atta was attached to him. No, no, I didn't ask you that. Jesus, when he was alive. Which part of Jesus was divine? Which God? That question doesn't Jesus. make sense. That's not the, it makes sense. That's not the right answer. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. When I'm looking at Jesus, for example, Jesus is a human being, correct? Yes. We say that is Jesus. So when Jesus is a human being, is his flesh is God or the soul inside him is God? No, no, no. The, not his flesh was God. Uh, his DNA. God? God was attached to his human nature. So there became two natures above. attached in one nature. So two nature was inside him. Yes. Which the divine nature and the human nature. Uh, which, which part of him is divine nature? What do you mean? What, which part? Okay, is Jesus fully divine? Yes. Okay, his hand was divine, his speech was divine, his knowledge. How did he get people to arise from death? Huh? How did he make people uh, arise from death? Abraham did it, Moses did it. This is not, yeah, Abraham did it. Said, That's, said God gave him the will to... Uh, Who is that? Abraham and Even the Bible, Jesus said, I can do nothing by myself. Whatever the fa Father told me to do. So he cannot Jesus be God. Also, me and my father yeah. are one. Huh? Jesus said also me and my father are one. Okay, so therefore... Also me, so the Father as well. So the Father looks like Jewish uh, 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 human being. No, no, no. If you, if you 
you if you tell me, God, if you look at me, if you brother, before you believe uh, that you have heard the sound of God, but, you brother, before uh, you digress too much, you know, I respect. I'm speaking to him. You digress. No, it's not. It's not. If you allow me to finish, uh, one second. No, no. But he's not answering. He's digressing to many points. The main point here is, yeah, he's digressing. He's talking about the Quran, uh, Abraham. I'm the point. He, oh, he's not even okay. Let me finish, please. Can I, can uh, but can I want to finish my point, please? Yeah. Okay. The point I was asking you, simply, when you talk about Jesus as God, you said he had two nature, correct? So Jesus had two nature. He had a human nature and a God nature. My question is simply, which part of him it was a good God nature? Okay, and I would say that you have to, I would ask you to not think of it so simply as like it can only be part of this and part of this. The point is that Jesus was holy flesh when he came down to earth and he was holy divine because they are all one. Yeah, that's right, they are one. That's my point, they are one. So, so Jesus... Which part and which part? He's 100% man in the flesh and that, that happened out of his love for us. Okay, we're about knowledge. In terms of knowledge, did Jesus have God knowledge? Divine knowledge? He so we, we holy God, so he was no divine. So we, God was holy in him. Okay, so when Jesus didn't know the hour, yes, that knowledge, is that God's knowledge or human's knowledge? He knew it, but he didn't want to clarify it. Okay. He didn't he know it. Acts. Wait, no, wait, wait. No, no, wait, no, wait, let him finish. He, let, let him finish. I know, Baba. Let him finish. Go on. Let him finish. So if you read the Acts chapter 1, he tells you it's not for you to know the times that the Father has made in his own power. So Jesus is the word of God. He clarifies what God wants us to know. So the hour is not meant to know to people to know it. So that's why Jesus didn't inform about that hour because it's not it's not our duty to understand so when we no, 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 no. let him finish for the people to see he's talking okay finished yes. okay that's not the passage i'm not talking about okay <laughs> it's not it's matthew 17 21 okay, okay yeah. matthew 17 no matthew 17 21 is um yeah matthew 17 21 jesus said no one knows the day and the hour not even the angels in the heaven nor the sun but only the father that was well, so it's not let me finish. I, I let him finish. He's not let me finish. You see? Can you be just? Say let me, let me finish. Because okay. I let him speak. All right. Oh, we're not gonna be just. All right. Anyway. Anyway, the point here is that Jesus, when he said, "Only the Father knows the hour," is Jesus when he said, "Know the Son, only the Father." Who is the Son that Jesus said is not the hour? Who is he? Is that Jesus? Okay. Again, Jesus. Clarifies what God wants us to know, and God doesn't want but I to ask know you that. the hour. I ask you that. Okay. Will Jesus go on? You're asking hmm. if He said the Son won't know the hour, then how is He both right? No, no. I'm asking you. When Jesus said, even the Son does know the hour. Yes. Who is He referring to? God, because they are one. Right? No, no. Okay. So when? So the Son is God. No, I'm talking about when He said Jesus, no. Right? No, no. When He said even the Son does know the hour, even the Son yes. doesn't know the hour. He's talking about Jesus doesn't know the hour. Yeah. So Jesus knows the hour. Yes. Yeah. Only the Father. Does because he's God. So Jesus is lying when he said that's not the hour? No. So, okay, first of all, the, the main concept is that Jesus is holy, like. I understand, yeah, two nature, divine nature and human nature, which doesn't make any sense, but we're just going to allow you. Okay, yeah. no, no. Huh? Okay, one, one, one nature. Can I just say something? It is pointless, yeah. to, it is pointless uh, to go past this. One nature and two nature. Pointless Good. to go past the conversation if you are going to dismiss the basic points we have to get to to, to to reach a certain thing. You can't be tackling everything all at once with a mentality that you're going to just dismiss parts of it. Would that, you, okay, so okay. you're dismissing the fact that God and Jesus are one. No, I'm not dismissing that. I, 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 I'm sorry, no, no, I don't believe as a Muslim, but also, okay, I can't, okay. no, hear me out, because I can't, I, I mean, I can't, uh, sorry, because I'm not dismissing that, I mean, I'm, I'm still listening to you, but I can't dismiss it by sound reasoning, yeah. I don't have to be a Muslim, hear me out, I don't have to be a Muslim to know that doesn't make any sense, because by, na by default, if you say someone is God, you are negating his human being, if you say he's human being, by default he's not God, but so when you say, sorry, when you say that Jesus, yeah, he was God and a man at the same time, that's a paradox. And when you say Jesus and the Father are one, I will tell you what is the context. Because you, Christian, claim with a, what is the context of that? When you say I and the Father are one, what is the context? John 10, 30. Yeah, what is the, I'm asking you, what is it? What is the context of that? You don't know the context? The context? I don't understand the question. Okay. Jesus said I and the Father are one, yeah? So either we can understand him in, they are one in essence, or they are one in purpose, yes? How can we know if he's me, if he means one in essence 
or one in purpose by looking the context, looking to what Jesus said, yes? Because Jesus said to his disciple, just as I and the Father are one, you are one with us. That doesn't mean they are God. You get me? So that doesn't mean they are God. If, they are, if the disciples are one with Jesus and the Father, are the they are in purpose. That's why I know the context, but he doesn't know it. And I know it. Alhamdulillah. Have you read 1033? You don't understand it? When the Jews uh, bring some stones in order to stone Jesus because he claimed to be God. Okay. So the Jews in that context understood that Jesus was speaking about being one essence with the Father. Okay, so you fought you for Jewish people, not Jews. Now where is the context? Read it. I know the context. Je okay, when they pick up the stones, he said, why you want to stone me? Is it because the, the good work I've done? So listen to the context. I know the context, but you don't know. Eh? I'm going to teach you again. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. You have to let me finish, please. You caught the Jewish people, but you forgot what Jesus answered with. So what you're doing, instead of following Jesus, you are taking the speech of Jewish people. Yes? Jesus said to them, what do you want to stone me for? Is it because of the good work I've done? They said, no, because you claim to be God or one with God. He said, is it not written in your law that I called you gods? What does that mean? If you go back to the judges, the book judges, even if it's God, God doesn't mean God all the time to them. You mean, you mean what? Like a law of judges. So he's explaining to them, you misunderstood what I said. Because if, if you think, because I said even if I'm, I'm God, therefore I'm God, in your book you are being called gods. So the context clearly. So as a Christian though, that we would believe that we have a God that is all loving, who invites us to be godly, who invites us to partake in his godliness, our communion, we believe that we actually take in our bodies the body and blood of Christ. So we have Christ within us and we, we take... What do you mean by that for you? You have Christ in, within you, his teaching or actual Jesus inside you, just to understand. So this is what makes this important to understand now is to bring in the third part of the Trinity, which we haven't actually spoken about. The Holy Spirit. Yet, is the Holy Spirit. That is God inside me. Okay? So the Holy Spirit is inside you? Yes. God is inside you? Yes. Okay. And you are a Coptic? Yes. Okay. If I bring a Catholic now, he's going to say the Holy Spirit is inside him, but both of you don't agree with each other. And both of you will tell me the Holy Spirit is speaking on your behalf. So which Holy Spirit is lying? Your Holy Spirit or the Catholic Holy Spirit? Can I say something at this point? I feel like into this conversation with a perspective that you are saying something against like anything that we have to say you are trying to convince the other party and that's fine of course what do you want to do no convince you yeah Okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm listening to you. That's why I've asked you. When you said Jesus inside me, I don't want to take your word out of context. I've asked you. I said, what do you mean by that? No, that's not, that's not the intention. That, that, that's so why didn't take out word? Uh, to be honest, I've, you've, been, you've been feeling not where, like, uncomfortable. I've noticed that. You know? I've noticed that you've been here. Everyone change everyone. I'm not trying to disrespect you or nothing, but I'm just showing you with the intellectual argument, with the sexual argument, that Jesus cannot be God. If I could rationalize God, he wouldn't be God. Okay. This idea that it needs to be logical okay. reasoning for me to be convinced by it, I have to use my logical rational, as you keep saying. Yeah. That completely undermines and disrespects the fundamental point of what a God is. No, that's if not I true. If I could rationalize everything, it's not a God. I didn't say everything, by the way. The moment but I know. Able, the moment you're able to define God. Within your logic, he ceases to be God. Okay, it's God unknowing. There's no, there's no mystery once you're able to define it. Okay, it's God unknowing. One second. Is God unknowing? Just because this is an interesting. Is God unknowing? So what's your brother? Is God unknowing? Define what is unknowing. He knows everything all the time. So you, are you, are you able to define some things about God? Yeah, okay, uh, you sure knows everything all the time, God? Am I sure God knows everything all yeah. the time? Yeah. Yes. Huh? No, 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 you, him. Outside of my comprehension what God knows, that's the bottom line. No, no, no I'm asking you. you. have the human vocabulary of what we describe God to God uh, God And I'm asking you, are you sure God knows everything all the time, brother? Sorry. Are you sure yes. God knows everything? Brother, do you speak on his behalf? He's a big man with the intellect, so I'm asking you out of respect. Let him ask, because he seems doubtful. And he's with you here, so you have to... Okay. Yeah, 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 take care of yourself. Have a Leila Saida. Go on. Yeah, 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 I mean, good night. Go on. Good evening, good evening. Like, so what, there's seven cameras. Of course, do you feel like we're comfortable when there's seven cameras? No one's asked for any consent. Well, you speak, it's cool, Habibi. Is that Muslim, Kadalik? 
Huh? Egyptian? I'm Egyptian, but I can't. Don't speak Arabic. But speak because, Arabic because, because well. Kona, you have camera everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But we, yeah. we didn't ask for 15 cameras on us. Yeah, but brother, this is the nature of speakers. You know, speakers Kona, even if you sneeze, they record you. No, this is Hyde Park, London, and we're strolling through. No, 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 speakers Kona, here, yeah. everything's been recorded. Yeah. Okay. You know? It's fine if it's a bit yeah. different, but at the end of the day, you came yeah. up to us, which is completely fine. No problem. There was no consent given. Yeah, like, but obviously, there's an agenda. Time. Time. Sorry? You can leave any time, we're not forcing you. No, no. You're not forcing you. Right. Can you can leave any time It's known for debate and discussion. Let's go. If that, you kind of enter upon it, it's like you accepting the fact that you will be by way of consent. If you approach cool, okay, me that's... with seven cameras, I didn't approach you, you approached me. Yeah, no problem. But I will say to you, look, I advise I'll leave you with, you know, because it's not comfortable. Read the Quran. Read. Read that Allah describes himself in the Quran. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allah is one, unique, a summit. Everything is in need of him. He's not in need of nothing. He doesn't give a birth, no one gives birth to him. And there is nothing like unto him. Compare that with God, does not change. Malachi, Malachi is a God, either Lord does not change, but God become a baby. So that baby, that the mother, Mary, السلام, she was uh, breastfeeding, that was God. Yes. Yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah. You can leave now, inshallah. This is for the people that. Wallahi ma ata'ala Allah uluwan uluwan kabiran amma yaqulu al-dhalimun. So that baby was best feeding to God, yeah? Yes. You're going to be famous, man. You're going to be famous on this. Bro, that's, that goes back to the point God, that, 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 it's a God that you can't understand and define. Therefore, you can't understand God, yeah? No, no, but this goes back can to you, the point that you, you need, need a God that you can you define. One you second, one question. second. One second, but are you with them or not? You need a God that you can define. You know, no one, innit? Right? You, for you guys, and it's completely fine, yeah. but for you, God has to be someone that you can define. All his parameters, everything. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch that. Is God, you, you say again? God Sorry. for you guys has to be someone that you can define all his parameters, everything. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Uh, the, the, uh, uh, elaborate more, because when you say to us, to us mean, uh, when you said... Well, we said something right now that to you doesn't make sense. And then but, and then you said to the cameras, okay, see you guys. Because you know, certain things about that, you have to understand. What we're talking about here, we're talking about God that which all of us, we know about. You and I and all of us here, including her and all of us, we know that God is perfect. Unknown. Correct or no win. We know that, regardless of Hindu. Everyone knows that, you understand? I understand there are certain things about God we cannot comprehend. It's beyond our intellect, no doubt about that. But no doubt also that God will not send the prophets and messengers and send down the revelation and tells me to follow it. But I don't, the, 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 the most important thing, the fundamental thing, is no one can understand it, then God will punish me because I cannot understand it. That's what definition Islam. Islam, the, the foundation. You can, uh, okay, I'll tell you what you can understand. You telling me that God become a baby and someone church is nappy. That was God. So when Mary, when Mary, السلام, she had Jesus as a baby, she had to breastfeed him and church is nappy. Yeah? yeah? She also you will give birth to the son of God. No, 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 before that. Is it God or son of God? It's the son of God yeah. who is wholly divine because of the tripartite nature. So, the Holy Spirit is holy God, holy Jesus, all in one. So Jesus is the son of himself? Because the son of God. Because no, 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 but if you step by step, step. Jesus is he God or a son of God? Because if Jesus is the son of God, therefore is a son of himself. Hey, hey, the answer is... You're so thinking about God, it, huh? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, That's, no, yeah you try, yeah. No, my question is... Sorry, sorry, my question, look. I, no, wait, before, I want to understand, yeah? No problem, I can be a father and a son, but not a son of myself. I can be a son of my father. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 there's something called paradox which does not exist in reality. For example, it's, it's illogical to tell me God that's everything, but at the same time it exists and does not exist at the same time. Because exactly. that's paradox, exactly. understand? So uh, that's my point. You, the, 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 the thing that you believe about God is paradox, which is, it's for example, for no, no, for any human being. No, 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 no for any human being. Brain, our brains are tiny. Okay. Okay. The, moment you say huh? that, the moment you say that, you're putting a limit on God. No, you're putting limits. You say what God can do and what can't do. No, no, there's the difference there's there's between what God outside our comprehension. Okay, there's the difference between what God is and what God does. You, you, you are mixing. What God does, he does whatever he wishes according to his wisdom. Do you agree? He does whatever he wishes according to his wisdom. It's not about what God wishes, it's also about his love for mankind. He does it out of love for us. Okay, so when, okay, so when God said to Saul to kill a baby, was that out of love in the Bible? Then, sorry? When God in the Bible said to, to, to Samuel 
to say to Saul to go and slaughter the babies alive. Is that was out of love? That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So it's not about just love. It's about wisdom. So my point here is what good does and what good is. What good is doesn't not change meaning, doesn't not go and guess his nature. Because it's illogical to tell me, Shamsi, I believe God is perfect all the time. But at the same time, I believe he's God imperfect. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Well, Do you agree I, with that? Can I, can I just we ask a question? That God is okay, we, 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 uh, sorry, not before that. So when Jesus became a baby, when God became a baby, and he was in need of his mother to take care of him, is that the same God who is self-sufficient?